So for this first project, I'm taking a baking sheet that I found at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna paint it in the Waverly chalk paint in the color Cashew. And I'm gonna give this two good coats. I was really inspired by these French labels that I used in my last DIY. I just found a bunch on Pinterest. So I wanted to create a few more pieces for my home. give it that rustic, um, chippy, like French country vibe to match the labels. So instead of painting this whole piece black and then distressing it through the chalk paint, I decided to just take some black acrylic paint and do my best to give it that distressed look. I'm not a professional, so don't come for me. So once we are done distressing it, for the handles I took two of these Dollar Tree whisks and I didn't film this part because I had my boyfriend use some pliers to remove both ends so that I'm left with just these little tube portions. And I thought this was kind of a cool different look for some handles. I just took them outside and used a matte black spray paint so that it kind of matched the label that I'm using. So for mine, I'm just using hot glue because this is just for decor purposes only for me. But obviously if you want this to be more functional, you're gonna wanna use a Gorilla Glue or E6000. So I just chose a French label that I liked on Pinterest and printed it out onto some tissue paper taped down to cardstock paper. This is just a cheap alternative method if you don't have transfer paper. I've used this a few times in some of my videos. So I'm just going to cut it out off camera. I want to get as close as possible. and smooth out any wrinkles or edges. You do want to be careful since I used a regular inkjet printer. The ink will bleed if you get it too wet or use your finger to smudge it too much. So I'm just going to go over the top of it with another layer of Mod Podge. And I ended up doing the whole tray just so that the finishes were the same. So we're just going to let that dry and move on to our second project. I'm taking this planter that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. And I thought I was filming this part, but I wasn't. I just used some sandpaper to sand off the letters, the flowers and garden print that came on there. And I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing that we just did to the tray. Give it two coats of paint, use some black acrylic paint to distress it, and then we're gonna add our logo.
I decided to use more of an image instead of it being too repetitive and using like the words that I used before. Uh, but I also found this one on Pinterest. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut it out as close as possible once again and then Mod Podge it on. Thank you. 